more small boat. We're on season two, episode twenty-two. This one's called Calling. So, guys, the last episode was just freaking creepy with that freaking Emily girl. She was creepy. I'm sorry, and of course, I, it was pretty much like a haunted theme in this episode. You can definitely see it from the beginning of the episode how they started with the horror film, and of course, Emily pops up, and she just pops up out of nowhere. She's the typical little girl that's in every haunted movie. Well, not everyone, but. She, she's, she represents haunted movies, like that little girl. Whoever chose this girl did a really great job casting her because she looks like the type. I'm sorry, she really does. She creeped me out the entire episode. That's pretty much how I felt about it. She was basically a clone that uh, basically, you know, Lionel Luther created. Well, he had someone else create. It was basically under him. And, you know, Lionel Luther is just always up to something. And I definitely cannot wait to see his next episode to see if there's going to be more information about him, in, you know, in this episode. Lionel Luther is always two steps ahead of everyone else. He just is. And he's telling uh, Lex Luther that you have to keep your eye on the ball. You got to keep your eyes open because I'm always ahead. You know, Lex needs to play his game. He needs to play He needs to play dirty at this point, honestly. He, that's what he needs to do. Uh, Clark and Lana's relationship is getting pretty close. But I wouldn't be surprised if they dragged it on even more because i feel like they've just been dragging this and dragging it i'm like just come on just tie the knot so we we, we know come on we, we know you both like each other they just need to hurry up and tie the knot but yeah i definitely cannot wait to see this next episode see what's gonna happen i have no idea but we we only got two more episodes to go and we were we are finished with season two for uh smallville but you guys all before this video begins guys i want to thank josh dyers for sponsoring this video through the patreon page make sure you just go on the page to get the full reaction also consider supporting the channel as well anyway guys let's get into this next episode for smallville <laughs> Oh no, the doctor. It was so urgent you needed me here tonight. It's Dr. Walden. There's been a complete normalization of his higher brain function. The day is coming. The day is coming. The day is coming. That was creepy. Am I supposed to guess what's in the box? And now I'm supposed to close your eyes. What is it? Was it a birthday cake? Okay. I know, uh, it's not your birthday for another seven minutes, but I wanted to surprise you. It's not really my birthday. It's just some date that my parents picked off the calendar for the adoption papers. Who doesn't know when he's born? Maybe some of us want to celebrate the day you came into our lives. I never thought of it that way. I've been wishing for the same thing ever since I was five. And now? She's standing right here in front of me. Damn! Okay, Clark! About damn time! Look how happy he is. Good morning, Mom. He's a happy man. Party. So you're the one who told Mom. She knows we're not too big on birthdays, but wondered if she could do something special. Hey, guys. I'd like a double espresso, please. Oh. Were you burning the midnight oil last night, too? I was just working on a toast for Lex's dinner. Don't look obvious. Damn! Chloe, ready to go? This is so Everybody awkward. Everybody okay? Yeah. Great. Perfect. Anna, is everything okay? If this is about last night, we can take it slow. Mark, I think last night may have been a mistake. <gasps> I'm really busy. I I'll call you later. What? Come on, man. Back to square one. Don't you think this might be the right moment to reach out to your father? Helen. I'm touched that you want us to reconcile. It's not gonna happen. That's not Besides, gonna happen. The only family I need is you. I don't blame him, because this father's sneaky. What? Oh, no. We should call the police. Oh, is it Clark's, Clark's blood was in there, maybe? Is anything valuable missing? Yeah. They take anything important? The vial of blood I drew from Clark. Please tell me why you would even still have that. I thought I might need it someday in case he got sick again. It wasn't labeled. There's no way anyone could connect it to Clark. Then why would anybody want to steal it? it? Looks like somebody just broke open the refrigerator and took whatever was inside. Or maybe somebody who wanted to make it look that way. Wait a minute, are you saying you think that I staged this? You and I are the only ones who knew about Clark's blood. Have you what? never told anybody else? Of course not. Not even the man you're about to marry? Lex is not the man you think he is. Considering the fact that you are about to spend the rest of your life with that man and what you know about my family, you had better be right. Friendship isn't going to go anywhere. It'll just become a something better. And what happens down the road if things don't work out? 
uh, our friendship survive that? It's going I've to happen. I've wanted this for so long. I think it's worth taking the chance. Day is coming. Clark? The day is coming. Clark, what is it? The day is coming. Oh, he the hears that. What do you think it means? It's probably just delusional rambling. I know you want to see if he says anything else, but for his own safety, I need to sedate him. The day is coming. He has powers? Dude. Oh, yeah, he wrote symbols, too. Coming. You learned how to read the symbols. No, just an educated guess. I wonder how he wrote it. Apparently, he's developed the ability to emit some kind of energy from his hand. What? Oh, no, he got all the knowledge. I know who you are. No! God damn it. He knows exactly who Clark is. Interesting, isn't it? Tagonal recess in the God, wall. God, he, he's always I mean, sneaking down. I once had um, what you might call a keepsake that matched this. What are you doing down here? I have taken over conservatorship of the caves. Didn't Lex tell you? No, he didn't. I ran into some of his security people down here. They were looking for that doctor, Dr. Um, Walden. Dr. Walton? Dr. Walton was obsessed with these caves. Wait a minute. Did, are, they arranged in a different order than they were before? He sees all the details. Don't you think, Clark? It's all Kawachi to me. Lex! I did it, Lex. Dr. Walden. I finally read the wall. I know what it says. We'll talk all about it, but first we need to get you some help. Not now, Lex. Let the man tell us what he knows. Stay out of this. The wall, help. Doctor. What does it say? Heck no. The last son will rule the planet. Don't you see? It's Clark Kent. I think that's a pretty big leap. No! I've never seen more clearly in my life. We have to kill Clark Kent. Before he destroys us all. Dr. Walden, you're confused. God damn it! I said it right in front of freaking Lionel, now I'm... And if I have a word with your son? No, I'll get right ahead. Is everything all right? Dr. Walden paid me a visit. Nobody was hurt. What'd he say? At the writing on the cave wall says, you are going to rule the world. I'm going to rule the world. He's obviously nuts. Of course he is. Unfortunately, my father was there. He heard the whole thing. He didn't believe him, did he? Oh, he did. He quoted one of his favorite Elizabethan poets. Twixt truth and madness lies but a sliver of a string. He's not just going to let this drop. I thought I'd warn you. Late at night, here you are still at it. Well, I wasn't invited to the rehearsal. Look, dinner, Lionel's so. been around. Yes, we a have lot. spoke to the uh, managing editor of the uh, Daily Planet. It's all set. A weekly column on uh, current affairs from the uh, young person's perspective. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Nurturing a promising young talent is a reward in itself. Got your first assignment a complete investigative profile of Clark Kent. What possible interest could the Daily Planet have in. A farm boy from Smallville. I'm sure they'll be in touch with you. No, this is for me. Just uh, you know, combine it with uh, any research about his family you already have. I don't know what your interest is in Clark, but you can take the job offer and shove it down your thousand dollar pants. <laughs> Clark's very lucky to have a friend like you. I wonder, though, if he had to make a choice, would he sacrifice his dream out of loyalty to you? Oh, uh, here we go. Try to get in her head. Freaking bastard. Holy crap. I came looking for you, and I found the proof. You need to die. Ooh! Ouch! Making a mistake. I'm not. I'm doing this for mankind. Did he die? Oh no! 
He died. Goddamn. You really believe I'm capable of that kind of deceit? Maybe you shouldn't be marrying me. Yeah, I just need some space. He did take it. He did take it. Wow, Lex. He, he's so fault. obsessed with finding out what Clark is. The entire body's been burnt beyond recognition. Mm. <laughs> but, look, whatever he was holding here, it completely protected the skin it was covering. I've never seen anything like this. Never get a chance to tell you how beautiful you look tonight. Clark, you scared me. <laughs> Sorry, I've been so confused about us. Scared. You have so many secrets in your life. I know. Don't want my feelings for you to be one of them. Damn, Clark. Oh, Chloe. <laughs> wow. Of course they would put her there. Oh, God. This is going to be so awkward. <laughs> What's going on? It is time. What? Who was that? Oh, is that his father talking? And that's the ship, though. I know that. Oh, come on. All right, guys. It's another to be continued. I got to see this one. I'm sorry. That, <laughs> that episode was freaking good. But I feel bad for Chloe. I'm not going to lie. I feel so bad for her because, you know, she, she likes uh, Clark very much. And seeing him with Lana broke her heart. It really did. Look, Clark made a choice he wanted he wants to be with lana you know period ever since since the beginning he's been he's he wanted to be with uh lana unfortunately you know chloe wants clark but clark doesn't want her it's just that's what it is so i do feel bad for her i really do but i'm glad that uh clark and lana are finally together not dragging this on unfortunately we know that clark is with lois in some point i know that eventually lana and clark are gonna break up i know that because of obviously you know, in, when, when Clark is in the Daily Planet, we know he's with Lois. I already know that part. It's just the when part. When are they going to break up? How are they going to break up? That's what I really want to find out. That's the stuff I don't know. I know that later on in the future, whatever season is going to be, he's going to meet Lois, whatever that's going to happen. It was cool that uh, Clark went to uh, Lex's uh, little, you know, reception, gave a toast. It was a great uh, speech as well. Or great toes. And you can definitely see in Lana's eyes at how in love she is with uh, Clark. You can just see it. And unfortunately, uh, Lex is the one that stole the, the blood from the uh, doctor's office. Because he is obsessed in finding out who Clark is. Because he knows he knows Clark is hiding something. It's, it's really clear on that. So he just wants to find this out. And then uh, Clark's father was talking through the ship. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I think that was his father's voice. I think this is the day that uh, Dr. Walden was talking about. So yeah, I'm definitely wondering what's going to happen to see what Clark's going to go through because I got to see this episode. That to be continued. I'm sorry. I have to I have to see this episode. But anyway, guys, uh, please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you go on the Patreon page, get the full reaction, and also consider supporting the channel as well. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Smallville.